Hey guys! So today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on my brows and what I do um, to fill them in and all that. So obviously they are bare today, but I will tell you like how I keep up with them, what products I use on them, and then give you a tutorial about like how I fill them in on a uh, daily basis. So we'll just go ahead and get right on into it. So actually, I keep up with my brows all by myself. I did go get them um, like tweezed and waxed at the brow bar in Ulta. I have a friend from high school um, that works there and she does a great job. So I let her shape them and everything because I never in my life before that ever touched my brows. Like I am so thankful to say I never went through like the like line skinny brow in high school. I just always left them alone and like praise Jesus I did that. So she just went in and kind of shaped them and gave me more of an arch and stuff. Um, and then I just tweeze them as like, you know, hair comes back. So that's really all I do. If you are not sure how to do it, there are a ton of tutorials online. Um, mine don't get too thick, so I've never really had to do it. So I don't feel super comfortable um, letting you know. But I do know like if you line like a pencil to your like, what is that, pupil like it will show you where your art should be in your eyebrow, same with like where your eyebrow should start and where your eyebrow should end, something like that. I would just look it up. Um, otherwise, just go to Ulta, spend the $20, they will do an awesome job, and then all you have to do is maintain it. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, and then, so for the products that I use, um, <laughs> well, I have a lot here. Like, well, not a lot, but a few options just depending on what you're looking for. So like if you just like to fill your brows in with a pencil. Um, the best one of all time, hands down, is Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I use the color dark brown. I prefer to have an ashier tone to my eyebrows, and this one does have an ashier tone. They do have warmer shades, so if you have um, really warm toned hair, I would say go for that. The other thing to remember with brows is you can go two shades lighter or two shades darker with your brows. I typically try to stick right around my hair color. If not, I'll go like one shade darker just because I feel like when you have dark hair and you don't have darker brows, they get lost on your face. I don't know. At least in pictures for me, it does. Um, so I love this one. And then if you're looking for a drugstore version, the NYX um, micro brow pencils are amazing as well. I think they work just as well. They give you just as much payoff. I just think you have to like work with them a little bit more. I just think the Anastasia ones are a little bit more user friendly, but this is a great, great dupe and I do use this just as much. So those are the brow pencils. Really, really great options. You can get them both at Ulta or Sephora or online. I do also love brow powders. Um, Anastasia has a really great one. I ran out of that one, so I just went ahead and decided to try this NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. And I think they're really great. Like, I mean, I feel like a powder, you can even use an eyeshadow. If you have an eyeshadow similar to your brows, use that. But I think this was like five or six dollars. And I think the Anastasia one is like 15 to 20. So for a brow powder, I'm not really willing to spend that much all the time. So, so this is a really, really great option. And so what I'll do with this is just like line my brows, like fill them how I want them to be filled, and then I'll go in where there's any patchiness left over, I'll go in with the powder and fill that in, which I'll demonstrate here in a little bit. Um, then, if you're wanting an intense brow, like if you see the Anastasia Dip Brow or the Makeup Forever like Aqua Brow, this is a great dupe for that. It's the NYX Eyebrow Gel, and I have it in the color Blonde. Go figure, I don't know why I have blonde, but it is dark. Like, I think I got the chocolate color or whatever the brown shade is. And it was like Sharpie brows. Like, it was really intense. So these you might kind of have to play around with and see what color works best for you because they do dry really dark. Um, but what I would use with this is like this Sigma Small Angle Brush. It's the E65. It just has a really sharp edge, so it makes it real easy to get in there and like really draw out that brow. So that is really great for that, and that will give you an intense brow. They will not look natural, but if you're going for that cut, like brows on fleek look, that's the product you want to be using. And then to set the brows, I have um, three products that I use in rotation. It just kind of depends on what I'm going for. But I'll use this L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper. It is tinted. Um, it's a lot like the Benefit Give Me Brow. I don't think it has fibers in it, but it is tinted. So like 
If I am just need to rush out the door, I might like line my brow with my brow pencil and then just fill it in with this and just be like good to go because I don't have time for the full event. But it's really great for setting brows and just kind of amplifying the color and filling in maybe any patches that you have. The other one I really like that is more affordable, I think, is the Mary Kay Brow Gel. I think it's about $10 or maybe it's under $10. Um, it doesn't give you like that like cement feeling brow, but it does hold them in place. And I think it's been really good to me, so I've been using this one for a long time. And then I did repurchase my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel because it is like cement and your brows do not budge all day. So just depending on what you're doing for the day, I mean, you can just switch and interchange these three. They're all really great and they all do the same kind of thing. Just depends on the price point um, that you're looking for, but these are all wonderful. So now to get into the tutorial, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and I will get to going. Okay. I'm going to have to like figure my situation out here because my mirror is a little lower than what I would like it to be. But I'll just go in with the spoolie side and just kind of run that through my brows and get them to lay where I want them to because after you take a shower and they dry and you get foundation on them and all that, they just get looking a hot mess, you know? It's so like even just doing that, look, I got a little arch again. Same thing for the other side. Just go in, run your thing through it. Then go in obviously with the colored side here. And I like to start at the bottom of my brow. So I'm gonna bring my little compact up here. Hopefully that doesn't annoy you guys. But I just draw a line at the start of my brow out to my arch. So. I do it in kind of sweeping motion so it doesn't just look like one harsh, harsh line. And then I'll bring it down to the tail of my brow. Like that. And if you want to extend it a little bit, I did just a touch. Um, you can definitely do that just depending on what your preference is as always. So then I will go ahead and carve out the top of my brow as well. And I just follow my natural hairline. I don't go too much over it. I just kind of follow my natural hairline because like I said, I do like them to look natural. I don't want to look like I have like mammoth brows or that you can see a ton of product above my natural brow. That just doesn't look real, you know? But it does look really great. Like I see so many girls using the dip brow and it looks freaking awesome, especially when you're doing like an intense smoky eye. To have like a really cut brow is like the thing. So I will, like I said, I'll use that NYX eyebrow stuff if I'm looking for that kind of look. But for the day to day, this is about all I can handle. So I'll just fill it in like that and as you can see, like huge difference, huge difference. Holy cannoli. And I used to never fill in my brows. Like I was like, I don't need it. You know, they're fine. And then whenever I actually did it, I was like, girl, do you see how much better your face looks? So if you're not doing brows and you're doing like everything else, you need to be doing your brows because they really make all of the difference. And I a hundred percent believe that. So then I'm going to go in, like I said, with this NYX brow powder and they come with two little things in there. I don't love those, so I just use my Sigma E65. Um, for the front half of my brow, I use this lighter color so it looks a tad more natural because I just kind of feel like that's how your brow hair looks naturally. Like it's a little lighter on the inner corner, maybe fades to dark. That's just me maybe, but that's what I like to do. I think it doesn't make it look as intense. So I'll just go in, grab some of that, and then just feather up. I like to follow the natural um, hairs like where they're going. So like in the front they go up a little. That's how I'll brush this in to my hairs. And then I'll grab that darker shade of the two for the tail. And I don't have as much hair right up there by my arch so I will add it more concentrated there. Um, 
diamond frame, right? But I just feel like the powder gives it a more natural look instead of like really drawing on your brows with that pencil. So it's looking really intense right now. Um, and that is partly to do because of that brow powder. Like you could even just do the powder and I think that looks just as beautiful. But I'm going to go back in with the spoolie side now and I'm just going to run that through the brows and kind of like make it look less harsh. It just kind of blends everything together really nicely. And like if you have too harsh of a line there in the inner corner or along the bottom, this just helps you like work your way through it. So that one is done. Well, okay. I lied a little bit. It is not done. We're going to put some Anastasia clear brow gel on and then we will be done. And just like I do with the powder, I run it with the natural um, movement of the hair. <laughs> Is that the right word to use? Um, just up a little in the front and then follow it down. And then this sucker is there all day long. Do you see that difference? Like, it just makes my eye look more lifted and like crisp and on point. I don't know. You see that? Do you feel that? If you do, comment down below because Brows make all the difference in the world. And I just sounded like a 16 year old boy. So I'm gonna just do the other brow. I'm just gonna speed it up um, because I did show you how to do this, but you can just follow along and watch me do the other one in fast, in high speed, in high speed. And that is both brows done. Um, if you ever do feel like maybe you got a little too intense or anything, what I like to do is just grab like my beauty blender that still has some foundation on it or my makeup brush, whichever I'm using for the day. And like, so I used this earlier today. If you feel like that inner corner is too intense, I just like to dab over it a little bit. And it just makes it look a little bit more natural. Um, I don't like to cut out my brows with a concealer. What I will do is put like a highlight shade with like eyeshadow right at the highest point of my brow to lift them further. Um, so those are a couple tips and tricks for ya. Alright, so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys in some way. If you have absolutely no idea what to do with your brows, this is a great beginner's tutorial just of what products to use and maybe like the process to use and stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, I do think they make a really big difference. So hopefully you guys think so too. If you do um, try out brows for the first time, send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter and just um, tag Kaylee Lynn Beauty on Instagram or Kaylee Lynn 279 on Twitter. I would love to see the end result for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Dogs are like children, I swear. They're just as noisy and like the second you're doing something for yourself, they're like, what's up, mom? But I mean, I guess that's great practice for parenthood, right? Right, right, right. I might like throw like my, what am I talking about?